The veneers are removed from the aesthetic try-in base plate, cleaned, and placed in the index. Using preformed wax aids greatly facilitate waxing up the framework. The framework pattern follows the palatinal contour of the veneers. When waxing up the framework, a gap of approximately 0.3 millimeter should be allowed for the opaque and adhesive gap for bonding the veneers. The position of the veneers established by the aesthetic try-in also ensures that the dimensions of the framework pattern are optimal and that they meet the aesthetic and phonic requirements of the patient. Retention beads aid the acrylic metal bond at a later stage. The framework was cast in a chromium cobalt alloy and finished. The UVE titanium copings are sandblasted with 110 micron aluminum oxide. Primer is then applied to the titanium copings and framework. The framework is first bonded with one UVE abutment on the model to ensure the correct position is obtained intraorally. The titanium copings are screwed onto the UVE abutments intraorally. When fitting the framework, the bonded titanium coping reliably guides the framework into the correct position. The framework is removed. The titanium copings are placed in situ, conditioned with primer, and coated with chemically cured adhesive. The titanium copings ensure that the framework is fitted in the optimal position without pressure. This guarantees a completely passive fit of the framework structure on the implant. The basal openings of the UVE copings are sealed with silicon and the framework is sandblasted with 110 micron grit size aluminum oxide at 2.5 bar pressure. Metal primer is now applied. To ensure that the facing is durable and has a stable shade, it is essential to use a high quality opaque. Combo line opaque is dual curing, which guarantees full polymerization. The framework should be coated with opaque before bonding the veneers. The opaque should be applied in several stages and polymerized to ensure optimal masking of the framework. The opaque layer 
should be polymerized with a light curing unit following each application. The Novo line veneers are then roughened by sandblasting with 110 micron grit size aluminum oxide at 2 to 3 bar pressure. Sandblasting over the margins of the veneers saves conditioning them again at the finishing stage or when customizing the veneer with Cree line.